Hey guys, hello, it's me Zell, and we're here with another Star Wars reaction video and another fan edit video or a fan film rather. We're going to be watching today My Enemy, a Star Wars story um, done by Locher Films. So uh, this one was another one requested previously in the past and it looks really good i always love ones that highlight i saw some clones on there so sparked my interest enough and uh yeah i guess that's all i have to say about that so uh let's just get to it I'm watching in 4k as well Locher Films. My enemy. Ah! The quality. Mmm, can't wait for some more 4K content. I don't know why this is giving me um, Force Unleashed vibes. I want to see that in 4K. Wow, that was some boom boom. Well, I know what that is. X-Wings and other wings. Why? Why wings? No. This looks... Wow. Phase two underway. We have the location. Fight us from their sensors. Wow, the, the details that 4K looks like. What's you shooting? Who are they coming for? Okay. Your turn. Which one were you trying to hit Aww. again? Shut it. You can see my blast mark. Well, it's trooper babies. <sighs> right. Not a clone baby, but. Wow. Blast. And that is five to three. Looks like tonight's on you. Next time you won't be so lucky. Mm, keep telling yourself that. TK-736, respond. Uh, TK-736, responding. Explain what you and TK-887 are shooting at. Target practice at some rocks, sir. Making sure our optics are dialed in properly. Copy that. Stand by for instruction. Standing by. Can't believe they always buy that. Yeah, or you'd think they'd stop asking after the first two dozen times. TK-736, proceed to mid-platform sensor hub and report stacks. We'll uh -oh. see some noise on the long-range nodes. Understood. On our way. I love the playful voice acting. Noise. Exciting. I thought he said noise. <laughs> you think guarding a supply post noise. in the middle of nowhere would be interesting? Well, at least we're outside this time, Nils. Beats the armory. That's true. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what's wrong with this thing. So he asked both of them to go? That's the machine that Mando used. Uh oh. Noise, all right. Try the oscillator. Well, <laughs> I like what's like so, rebels. Blasted. Yes, they are coming in to Empire. <laughs> it's helpful. Sir, they've detected us. Phase three, jam their comms. So this is during Rebels time. I should have... Command, this is TK-887. We have Rebel ships on the... Ah! They've cut off our comms. Get everyone off the platform. I'll warn command. Rebels ain't coming! Get off the platform! Rebel ships incoming! Comms are down! Restore comms immediately and get everyone in defensive positions. Oh, he actually heard and he's actually listening. Well, sir, comms are back online. Launch all fighters! 
They counted the jam. The so. graphics on the visor are just so. Red impressive. Squadron, take out their fighters at the main entrance. There it goes. Move it! Move it! This is giving me Clone Wars vibes, even though they're not clones. But I like it from the Imperial standpoint. It makes you persona obviously see their personality and the no, got inside! Freaking Nils disintegrated. His armor went flying. No! War is messy. Come on, we need to push forward. We need them clear to move up. Red Squadron, we need a strafe on that platform. Clear us a path. On our way. X-Wing's incoming! Hold back! Oh, that was just like a little intro. Whoa. This is a cool story. This would be good to see more of this. Did they use motion cap for this? It's kind of giving me, um, those anthology game, uh, dark anthology vibes. He's the only survivor. Don't even think about it. Sit. What do you want, rebel? Well, Imp, I don't want to have to kill you. Oh, that's expected from you, scum. Isn't that all you do? Kill imps? That's complicated. Oh, is it? We bring order and security to the galaxy, and you only destroy it. I've yet to see a rebel with peaceful intentions. You bring fear, oppression, and violence, not security. We push back against that. We have no peaceful options left. That was made clear with Alderaan. Alderaan was... Not everyone in the Empire agrees with what happened there. Hmm. That's the first I hear of that. Mm. Is that how you justify destroying the Death Star? Hundreds of thousands of souls lost in an instant. Well, that was a big major weapon. Not just the soldiers, the families, but... the civilian workers. I had friends on that station. All of them gone. They cornered us. 
it, it was either us or them. We, we did what we had to do to survive. I'm sorry. We had people on Alderaan as well. When we first got news of what happened, we just couldn't believe it. After Yavin, we took a shuttle to the remains. We had to see it. Seeing the debris where the planet was, it... It justified a lot of things we did. It's just... I'm sorry. War is not perfect. It's good to know not every Imperial agrees with what happened. A whole planet. But they don't agree it was right either. They just... Nobody once lost lives. I got knocked out during the battle. What happened after? The, uh, the rest of your garrison evacuated through the back hangar. We didn't know that existed. By the time we realized, they already left. And those who didn't make it? We buried them along with our own. At the south end of the beach. Wow. Good. Why are you still here? Our squad has a rule. We don't leave behind survivors. Not even Imperials. I was assigned to stay and wait until sunrise. If anyone survived, we picked them up. Pick them yes, up? That's what's going on. You're taking me prisoner. No. I've decided not to. I'll give you a transmitter so you can call for a pickup from the nearby systems. Why? Because I believe a sensible trooper like you can help us get closer to peace. Mm. Thank you. I love that. That's exactly what we need. They have a conversation. And they find the sensibility. That's pretty. I love the landscape shots. Oh. Friends. I don't believe I got your name. It's Liam. Gillian. Mm. I believe that's your right. Yep. Well, Gillian. He's hoping the next time we meet, there's less explosion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stay safe out there. May the force be with you, Liam. Every time it gets me. What? Do they always do that? Anyone show up? No, sir. It's been a quiet night. All right, let's pack it up and get back to the fleet. I hope he was hiding. <laughs> Not really, but... Guess he's not looking very closely. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a serious moment. And there's your ride. This is almost giving me in Rebels, Callus, and Zeb vibes. Only because you see, obviously, the complexity and the differences, but also the similarities. Dramatic slow walk. Got a little bit of a swagger to him.
Wow. Okay, so there was body motion cap and finger motion cap. And there is music written. That's wonderful. Wow, well, there we have it. Um, Really, really well done. Really, ultimately for me, it was the story I was a really big fan of. I love when there is a coming together um, connection and a harmony they were able to find by just sitting down and being reasonable, having conversation and then being open to it. They both said their piece like, well, you started it by killing Alderaan. He's like, well, not all the Imperials agree with what happened there. And then he's like, why you killed the Death Star? All these people died. He's like, we got cornered. It was either us or them. Like, and no, there's not an easy answer. I mean, the Death Star was the weapon that destroyed a whole planet. And really at that point, the only, they, the information that they didn't know who was dictating or who all agreed with that. All they saw was this contraption, this planet killer was literally destroying millions of billions of life in like a blip and that it can do it again. So the easy option was to do that. Did they have time and the, did they have the sense or the ability to warn people in the, in the ship? Probably not. Um, they could slip in some spy info network but then that would give them like a hint that something you that they were able to destroy the ship so i don't know it was just kind of like the best that they could make out of a terrible situation i read lost stars too that went over the imperial side of the death star destruction and how it impacted people personally and the loss and the trauma and all that that it affected and it's very real. I mean, even right there, again, in war, he saw his friend, his companion for a long time, just instantly zap, disintegrate his armor flying in a second. So that's, yeah, it was very real showing the emotions. Um, while although the mouth was a little awkward, obviously, with them not opening the teeth, um, I know mouths are very difficult. Probably one of the most difficult things to animate because of all the different shape, mouth shapes for each vowel and sound, not to mention with differences of languages and accents and individual quirks. But um, you, they did a good job with showing the expression with the eyes, obviously with the voice acting and the tone, um, and then the music helps convey it as well. So um, it was really good to see all those pieces together. Obviously the high quality of the 4K definition was beautiful really well done i love these stories that people put out in in these fan fan films and it makes me crave and want to see more of that kind of stuff and we've certainly and I, again we've seen elements of this story be told before but i just love to see i love when these uh, opposing size sides come together and again that there's realizing of similarities and that there could be basically a way to hopefully do get to a point of not having conflict and to have a you know a reasonable end to the dispute but it's not reality obviously the reason that wars and conflict constantly happen is that humanity there's always going to be people seeking more whether it's um you know obviously like greed and power hunger but beyond that there's just people too that will just have opposing views of how to get to the end goal like one was saying like they're bringing structure and they're bringing peace and the rebels are like no because you're basically you know taking away people's freedom and you're doing you're ruling through fear they're saying and they're saying there has to be a better way and so like it's basically trying to work out a compromise without feeling like a base basic need and belief system is not impacted, which is just going to be difficult to do, especially when you're trying to do that all around the whole universe with billions and billions of people. Um, there will always be a rising power to fight back against something they disagree with, potentially. I mean, history and in, in our reality on Earth has proven that, but 
all in all, yeah, I really enjoyed watching that. It was, I again, overall, I loved seeing the story and I loved all the aspects of the music and the art and the voice acting and all that piecing together to tell really a, a short story, but complex because of its ties in all of Star Wars, because that is the wars aspect of it. Um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching. If you, again, make sure to support and watch it for your own viewing in that high def quality if you're able to. Um, it's done by, again, Locher Films is the YouTube channel and it's called My Enemy. So check it out, it's it's worth the watch. And if you wanna show, show support um, from my channel and this, and if you enjoyed this video and reaction and commentary and all that jazz, Give the video a thumbs up. You've been here around long enough, you know what to do. Um, comment with your thoughts about how they approached it in, in the episode, the, the film itself. And um, otherwise, thanks for being here, watching, supporting, and I'll see you guys on the next one.